Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, as you know, this summer Pixar is releasing another Incredibles movie called Incredibles 2. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to start a new series where we draw all the Incredibles. So what I want to do first is go ahead and lay out his face and then we're going to move down to his body. So he has a weird looking head where it's like really skinny on top and big on the bottom. Bring down this side and then bring down this side. And then I'm going to go ahead and start bringing out his torso. So here's his chest. Go ahead and bring down this side. And I'm gonna start bringing out his arms and I want his arms to be on the same level. Yep, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring down this side. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring him this part so we have these muscle builds up so we have this part of the muscle and then this part we'll go ahead and bring down his forearm bring down this part of his forearm and then his fist is gonna go into his hip and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring out this part of his arm which is gonna go out and then back in, and then this part of his forearm is going to go in, and then his fist will be hidden behind his torso a little bit, so that means this part of his stomach is going to be shown, and then we have this utility belt that's in front. It's not a utility belt, but at least it's like the strap to his, <laughs> his underwear of his suit. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give him an eye guideline right up here and it's way up here because his eyes are way up here and then this is mostly chin. I'm gonna go ahead and give that nose guideline even though he looks like he's looking straight at us we're still seeing more of this side of his face as opposed to this. So it looks kind of weird but his eyes are a little bit oh, like a lot separated and his eyes are simple they just look like almond shapes so we have one right here, jump over, and then another, and we're going to make these look somewhat the same. They're just so weird because they're not our typical looking eyes. Alright, now we have his pupil, pupil iris area, and pupil iris area. So it's okay, these look weird right now, but the thing is we're gonna build up a mask around him. So what I'd like to do first is his nose. All right, so it goes down the middle and it also has a big ridge like this. So it's a little weird. And his nose is gonna go right about there. And then this part's gonna go this way. And this part's gonna go this way. So he has a weird triangle nose and it is kind of small and it's very pointy. So we have the point that's going out this way. So we go down. So we go down and then this part over here. So I'm gonna lightly erase all of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and color in that side. And before we do his mask, what I'd like to do is go ahead and give him his dimple. So we have one dimple here and one dimple way over here. So we have one that's going down this way and then down this way. And we're gonna go ahead and connect here to here. So what I'm gonna do with his mask, I'm gonna go up around the side and come up and go up there and I'm gonna come around and go to that nose ridge. So this one is more in front. 
and this one has a line going this way. So this part right here of his mask, so we have this one going across the ridge, and this one's just raised a little bit like an eyebrow raise. So we're gonna go up, bring this down, and then bring it over, and then connect. And then this part's gonna go up. So it goes across and down and up, like he has an eyebrow raised. And that's what I'm gonna go ahead and just shade in his overall mask. So this part of his mask is darker. So I'm gonna shade this in and then shade underneath. And then I'm gonna shade all of this side. So there we have his mask. That's why I said it wasn't that important to go ahead and get the lines around the eyes important. It's important to get the inside of his eyes important, but around his eyes, you just want to go ahead and give that overall almond shape to his eyes. And then get the insides of his eyes right. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a pupil, pupil. So this is his overall mask and that's like the most important part of his face because the rest of his face is mostly chin. Okay, another thing is let's go ahead and shape up his face a little bit now that we have the insides. Go ahead and bring this up, connect this forehead a little bit more, bring this side down, bring out this chin, then we're going to bring down this side. And then on this side, we're going to go ahead and give him an ear over here. And an ear on the other side. But we see more of this ear than this one. A little bit of an earlobe and a little bit of an earlobe. Go up to the top of his forehead. Give a little bit of that curly cue. And the rest is hair that's going down this way. Bring down this hair to this side. And then bring down this side to this hair. To his hair over here, bring down this side. I'm not gonna get too complicated. Let's clear up some guidelines so we can see what we're doing a little bit more. So this is what we're looking at. And we've got one age line over here and another age line over here. And then we just gotta give a couple of crinkles in his forehead. What I'd like to do really quick is with these dimples, I'd like to just round this down just a little bit more. All right, that looks much, much better. Round down his smile. Bring down this side of his neck and then bring down this side of his neck. And now I'm gonna go ahead and round out the bot that bottom of his neck. Round it out one more time. And then bring down here. Curve this in here, and then curve, make this a little round at top, and bring down this part. So his overall chest is going to go right here. So let's go, since he's turned a little bit off to the side, we're going to go ahead and make the logo all the way over here. Make a nice oval, make an eye, and go up, down. And then this part is going to go into this one. Make that eye. And then this part is going to go up. And into this one. And we'll go ahead and shade that in in a second. Let's go ahead and place together the rest of his body. So this part goes out this way, and then we're gonna go ahead and make this a little bit more boxier. Make this boxy, bring down this side, 
bring down. So we're gonna keep this overall crease in his forearm because now we're into the blacks of his gloves. Round that out. We still have his torso. Now let's jump over off to here to shape up this arm a little bit more. So men usually have this muscle right here, really muscular men. So we're gonna bring out this side, bring down this shoulder, and it's gonna flow into this one. But before that, we're gonna go ahead and bring down this one. It goes out, back in. Go ahead and close off that glove. And his fist is really easy because all we're doing is giving him some knuckles. So we have one, two, three, four. And then we have a thumb here and it goes into his fist. Crease it and then go back up. Then we're gonna go in and down. Make this belt a little bit better. Okay, so the thing that's going on in the image I'm using, he has his abs that are shaded. So they go right about here and then they go down just to show a little bit more that he does have these abs. And then I've got some shading going on over here and this kind of defines his chest a little bit more if it's going this way. And some more definition over here. And then a ton of shading going on over here. Alright, so about the eye, let's go ahead and fill this whole middle area of this logo is black. So I'm gonna bring down his dimple just a little bit to make it more like a smirk. There we go. Make it more like a smirk. And then I'm gonna go ahead and shade this side of his face, bring this down, line the bottom of his chin just to show that this is a protruding chin. Get rid of this guideline. And then we have some shading that's going alongside of his neck. And then some shading across his forehead. And then his ear. And then some shading off the side right here. Bring down this more of the shading. Kind of making his chin protrude a little bit more. I'm just gonna go around and start rounding off a couple of things. I'm gonna round off this mask.
And there we go. There's how to draw Mr. Incredible or like an easy, this is an easy tutorial on how to draw Mr. Incredible. He is very complicated because he's a human Pixar character. <laughs> human Pixar characters are complicated in their own way because they're all so very unique. So tune in next week and we'll draw Mrs. Incredible. I will see you all next week. We're just going to keep on going to the movie releases. But yes, guys, have a most wonderful day.